Hello, everybody. Plug here from Potluck. And one of the things that we're excited to announce is the production deployment of the Pot Factory contract and integration into the BOSS gateway. So if you go to boss.potluck.org, there is a POTS tab. This is our decentralized front end gateway. You can actually access this portal from anything that supports the near social VM. This is over 50 different web apps. You can actually access this directly with the official gateway is boss.potluck.org. If you go to the POTS tab, there's gonna be a deploy pot, which is only gonna be accessible to a few. On the contract level, anyone can deploy a pot. What a pot is, is a quadratic funding contract or a quadratic funding round deployed from the factory contract, which essentially is a contract that uh, permissionlessly deploys other contracts. If you go to learn more, you can actually see a chef training document and anything as an owner, an admin or a chef, and I'll go into that in a second, that uh, you can do or how to navigate. This is essentially the guidebook, uh, which will be embedding this tutorial amongst others in there and converting it to the Git book. And so I'm going to click deploy a pot. I'm actually in the process of deploying a pot. And it starts out with the owner. The owner is the person logged in who pays 4.4 near to have an independent pot contract. And so in this case, an owner usually negotiates with the sponsors ahead of time to confirm that there's a round happening. So for this, the creative public goods round, uh, we communicated with the creative DAO. And essentially we had a soft commitment that they're going to donate 10,000. And then after we deploy this round, um, the owner is basically going to contact creative DAO to um, basically donate this from an account where it has their logo on your social. So it can automatically pull from their logo as opposed to me just adding the logos manually. We can actually see a, a, a tree map of who is donating and how much to the round and it pulls their logo dynamically. And I'll go into that a little bit later, but usually the owner is the person who is closing the round, who is appointing a chef, who is a subject matter expert for applying, for basically reviewing applications and then also initiating payouts. There's also something called admin, which is an additional role. And an admin can do everything an owner can do except add or remove other admins. And so what the only power an owner has over um, an admin is adding or remove admins, but admins and owners can do everything, which is um, anything a chef can do, which is approving and rejecting applications. And then also, um, you know, which is um, like uh, initiating payouts and uh, like calculating the payouts and initiating the payouts. And, uh, but they can also change any setting on here, except the name and description, which is uh, essentially um, that can't be changed. So all these fees, the application start date and end date, the matching round start date and end date, the, min the minimum amount, even changing the chef and the associated fees with that, the maximum approved projects and the requirements for applying for a project and the requirements for donating, which by default are usually being on the potluck registry. So that's registry.potluck.near being an approved project on the public goods registry. But in the future, you can actually fork the registry and make it so that the registry is for approved people or it's for um, corporations and not public goods. So we made it robust in this case. Um, from the front end, we only have this option. And then essentially, what is the civil resistance for a donor? And why we need civil resistance as opposed to anyone donating, which is the case for direct donations. If you go to the homepage, you can see you can donate directly. The reason why we have this check is because what quadratic funding is, it is basically having this pot, having this matching amount that projects um, get more of if they have more unique donations. So usually quadratic funding rounds are prone to civil attacks or bots basically creating a bunch of wallets and then donating to get more of that money there. So we have to have some type of human check. This is gonna be not a bot. And the way it works is there's a Boolean function, a true or false function on v1.notabot.near, which is the production contract that checks if is a human. And uh, what this is, is a third party contract that takes in a bunch of different checks that also have these Booleans to say, has verified to lens, has a near social profile, has verified government ID through holonym, takes a bunch of weights associated with this, calculates it against a human threshold for that account, and then renders back is human. So essentially before someone donates, it checks whether that person is a human and then allows them to donate through the pot. All donations, this is a financial contract, as in the pot, the money in the pot is in the pot until the payouts. Um, that is the sponsorship. So in this case, Creative DAO is putting out 10K 
that 10K is on the contract. But say you donate to, for example, a project that gets approved during the matching round, like public nouns, that money is actually outside of fees. If there's associated referral fees and protocol fees and things like that, that money is just the donation is logged in the pod contract, but it passes through directly to projects. So the actual money that's being paid out is just the pots at the end of it. And that's what's actually inside of this pot contract. And so in the future, you can actually make it so that you only want is hauling them checks for required donations, or you only want any of the individual checks, or you want to make your own check. Uh, you can do that in the future, but for now, it's defaulted to not about human verification. And uh, also for the projects applying, it is for the public goods approved on the public registries here. Uh, but um, that's going to be the case for most projects as well, and also uh, integrated into our UI. So going off to the fees, um, and you can admin, add admins here uh, with their account ID if you wanted to wonder how that UI looked like, but there are different fees. And one of the things about Potluck that we really want to emphasize with POTS is aligning incentives. Rather than just hiring a PM, we directly link, and you as someone deploying a POT can essentially toggle these incentives, but we directly want anyone incentivized to bring in donations, bring in sponsorships that increase the pot, and then also um, for the chef to be aligned this way. And this is why the chef is usually the one who is that subject matter expert that is taking in applications or rejecting applications, because in many cases, they'll actually have a fee for bringing in donations and also bringing in additional sponsorships. So directly growing the pot and making sure that the donors are getting onboarded. And so I'm in the actual document that I showed you over here, it actually goes over what a chef needs to do and what the most difficult part is. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, the difficult part for the owner is closing the money and making sure the pot happens. The most difficult part for the chef is making sure that marketing happens around the pot so people are applying, that they're timely giving applications uh, feedback uh, and approving them or rejecting them on chain. And you'll be able to see that in the pot. Um, and then that they're... Um, onboarding the projects. And so, so when you onboard the projects, they'll have to make a near account if they're not already on there. They might require a near or a link drop. They have to create a profile um, and then um, through the potluck registry. And then they also have to apply again. So making sure that they apply their onboarded to account if they don't already have it and then that they're approved in a timely fashion. And since we don't have email notifications, um, you will have to remind them or they'll have to use a, uh, a third party kind of a notification service on Telegram, for example, like the Learn Your Club Watchbot. And so um, so there is uh, essentially a bunch of fees associated with that you can add. You can add everything at zero. Protocol fee is usually default to 2%. All these fees from the pot factory contract have an upper limit saying that, hey, you can't change this fee beyond this amount. So there is no slippage of like there's no someone slipping in fees um and again this depends on how you want to incentivize people what a referrer fee is is a referrer fee is for the matching pool which is hey say i bring in the bill and melinda gates foundation and they donate a hundred thousand dollars and i'm an individual citizen um in this case if i put five percent i would get uh i would get five thousand dollars from that hundred thousand dollars immediately paid to me if they use my link uh, with my account ID in the in the refer ID. So that account would get paid out automatically. Additionally, for the public round, that is for individual donations. Say that, for example, UNICEF wants to donate to Public Now. It's a project um, that is accepted to this pot in the matching round. They would get part of that donation as well. And then protocol fees works both ways. This is how much that goes into uh, the potluck DAOs um, uh, essentially treasury. And this can be zero as well. And then actually on donations, uh, someone can easily just put, I do not, I want to opt out of the fees. So all these fees are optional. If even if it's hard coded on the pot contract on, on there. Um, so just full transparency there, you cannot pay fees, um, even for the direct donations outside of this, um, as well. The application start time and the end date, I'm going to go over pot phases. So there is Free pot, we call this free kitchen before, this is where we're at right now. The pot is not actually deployed. Then the pot is deployed. When the pot is deployed up until the actual payouts, anyone can increase the pot and anyone can donate to the matching round because there is no gaming the system if you're growing the pot. Um, so there is no requirements uh, for actually being a sponsor. Anyone can fund the pot and grow the initial matching round at any time up until the payouts. 
Um, so at this point, before the application start, uh, you'll essentially be getting the money in from the sponsors, but then also the chef will be doing fundraising associated with that. Then it's the application start and end date. This must end. The end date must end before the matching around start date. And so um, between the application start date and the end date, this is when projects can apply. Uh, there can be a max amount of approved projects, but this is essentially when uh, all there is to do is to onboard projects. And usually this is going to be the chef. Then after the application date ends, then the matching round date uh, can start. There may be a gap in between that. And what the matching round date is, now all the approved projects are essentially on the donation board and you can donate to all of them through the round. In order to donate, in this case, you have to be a verified human. This is going to be one of the most difficult parts for uh, chefs is to actually onboard people to being a human because it requires them going through not a bot, going through third party apps and then coming to potluck um, once they have that human score met. So that's going to be a big challenge. We're going to have the not a bot support channels and the potluck support channel to also help people with that. Uh, but these are the donations that basically pass through the contract, pays out any fees and referral fees, protocol fees, if it's relevant. And, uh, and then that donation is logged. And then at the end of the matching round, all those log donations of the match donations directly to projects are used in the calculation for determining how much of the matching round that they get. Um, and so after the matching round is, is done, there is essentially a payout period where the, where the quadratic funding amounts to each project from the pot are calculated then a uh, transaction is triggered and then there's a cool down period. The reason why there is a cool down period is because the off the calculations for project funding, uh, the pairwise calculations are kind of gas intensive. They require a lot of transaction amount. So it's actually done off chain. And then it has some checks on chain to see if it's wildly outrageous. Um, and then there's also a contention period during the cool down period to say, hey, these calculations aren't um, correct. And again, our contracts have gone through two audits by Gubin Kaya and also uh, by Otter Six. So these are completely audited, but there is that cool down and challenge period. And then after the payouts, uh, you want to basically reach out to all the projects and do kind of a retroactive, but that's more of an off chain thing where people share how much they made and then they continue to update. And we'll show that in the future. But just to kind of give an overall review, there are owners and admins who can do anything. Um, owners can add or remove admins. Admins is an optional role. There is a chef who is may or may not have fees associated with bringing in donations and bringing in sponsorships. And this person is usually onboarding the projects and also onboarding donors to not about. Um, and then there is application start date and end date, matching on start date and end date and then varying fees with max limits. In this case, the max limit is like 10%, um, and it's also enforced on the pot factory contract. There's also a minimum donation amount. We're going to put zero here. Unlike Ethereum or things that you've seen with quadratic funding and Gitcoin, it's actually relatively cheap to do smaller donations. And so we're going to put that um, minimum amount to zero. And there's also a maximum approved projects and then project requirements, which is default by the potluck registry. Um, and then also uh, donation requirements, which are default for not about human verification. So we're going to click the deploy button. You're going to watch the first production contract deploy. Um, and give me one second. Let me click deploy. And the sense uh, you can actually see the contract, how much gas it takes and all the settings here. Um, and so I'm going to confirm this transaction and... And okay, going to approve. Exciting. The first pot is deploying, 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 deploying. And then afterward, we're going to hit up basically creators out and say, hey, fund this round directly. And then after they fund this round directly, um, the actual start of this is um so this this I got I got a notification that this actually triggered. Um it's taken a little bit of a while to respond on Meteor Wallet. But so after this, then the application period will start. Um, and it's honestly on Meteor Wallet, it's very, uh, sometimes because it's an extension on Boss, it's hard to get a response. So you may not realize the transaction triggered, um, but it did. And if I go back to POTS, um, you can actually see the POT that was deployed. So you can see the creatives around here and it's available on creatives.view1 POT. Uh, which it took the name into here, here. And then you can actually see the projects and the applications 
there are no applications. Um, but you can see um, it says uh, fund matching pool here, and there will also be an application uh, period um, there. Um, so yeah, it will it won't show the application apply part until you actually meet the registry requirements um, as well. Um, and you can see donation sponsors, payouts and settings. Settings is where as an owner, you can adjust the settings or you can just see what the current setting is if you're a, a donor and want to see how much people are making on fees um, or when the application dates are, um, which will also show up on tags here. Um, this amount is the amount in the funding round. This is the amount donated and this is the individual donors. Um, so yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Um, watch me deploy a pot round live and yeah, thank you so much.